surgery short cases lipoma examination in your exam your examiner asked from you please examine this lump lipoma most commonly present either front side of the chest or back side of the chest lipoma can be anywhere in your body but most common side is either front side or back side here the lump is back side of the chest over the left scapula the most common side is either front side of the chest or back side of the chest size how big it lipoma can be very small medium size or large size but when coming to your exam usually they will give either medium size or large size lipoma it can be medium to large size shape lipoma shape it can be hemispherical shape or oval shape any kind of shape but most commonly hemispherical or oval shape hemispherical or oval shape size medium to large side front of the chest or back of the chest most common side underlying skin there can be scar it will indicate recurrence there can be scar there can be scar it will indicate recurrence surface surface usually lobulated why presence of lipid globule causing lobulated surface surface will be like this this is your lung so surface will be lobulated surface lobulated h what happened to h it is well defined it is well defined you can clearly identify the edges it is well defined tissue plane it is not attached to the skin how are you going to check the tissue plane attachment you have to keep the finger like this and you have to move the skin if the skin is freely move it is not attached to the skin then you check the lump try to move the lump if lump is freely move it is not attached to the underlying structure one once you come to the lipoma lipoma usually not attached to either skin or underlying structure so you can push lipoma into here and here it is called slipping sign slipping slipping sign so tissue plane are not attached to skin not to attach to underlying structure sometimes lipoma can attach into your muscles those lipoma reduce size once you contract the muscles for a while think here on top of my bicep lipoma attached to the bicep once i contract bicep lipoma size reduces once i relax it lipoma size again appear in the normal size lipoma which attached to muscles muscles reduce size once muscle contract lipoma not does not attach to muscles will prominent become prominent once you constrict lipoma under the skin or lipoma not attached to muscles will become more prominent once you constrict your muscles for why i think there is a lump now it is look like lipoma i contract my bicep it is appear more prominent that does mean what but that just mean it is not attached to the muscles it is subcutaneous lipoma if it is attached to muscles what should happen the size should be reduced so tissue plane you have to check either it attached to the muscles attached to the skin you have to check lipoma usually not attached to skin not attached to underlying structure lipoma consistency consistency usually soft to firm not hard soft to firm most of the time it can be firm but still it can be soft consistency soft to firm fluctuant does it contain fluid previous lecture i told you fluid can be fluctuant does it contain fluid here no but some lipid look like semi solid so it shows phenomena called pseudo fluctuant it is not truly fluctuant it pseudo fluctuant 
pseudoplasmoid. Next one, transillumination. Sometimes lysosoma can be transillumination. Maybe transillumination. So now you know the features of lysosoma. Most commonly front of the chest or back of the chest. Medium to large in size. Hemispherical in shape or oval in shape. There can be scar, it will indicate recurrence or previous surgery. Surface lobulated, edges will define. Tissue plane, either not attached to skin or muscles. Consistency, soft to firm. Plactuant, it shows the features is called pseudo plactuant. And it will or it may be transillumined. Now you examine. Now you have to present it. How are you going to present it? You have to stand like this. Don't look at either side. Don't move your hand. Try to present like this. There is a hemispherical shape lump over the left scapula, measuring 3 cm in diameter, surface lobulated, edges well defined. It is freely mobile, not attached to the skin or underlying structure. Slipping sign is positive. There is a soft inconsistency, fluctuant and transillumination. My probable diagnosis is lipoma. I would like to offer him excision under local anesthesia if it is cosmetically unacceptable or pain. Sometimes there can be pain. That is how you are going to examine lung. At the end of your presentation, examiner will ask, <coughs> okay, what is lipoma? Then you have a present. You have to tell what is lipoma. Lipoma is benign mature fat cell collection. Benign mature fat cell collection. Then he asks, can they undergo malignant transformation? If you have lump, the most worrying factor is can they can that lump can it be a malignant? That is the most worrying factor. Here also saying if you have lipoma. If you are a patient having lipoma, the patient most worrying factor may be can they undergo malignant transformation? What do you are, what do you think? Usually lipoma never undergo malignant transformation. But from the beginning there can be liposarcoma. How are you going to differentiate? Liposarcoma may show features of ulceration over the surface, underlying structure infiltration, it is not attached to the skin or it, it may be, can be attached to skin and underlying structure because infiltration, it can infiltrate the nerves, it can infiltrate the blood vessels. So, usually lipoma not undergo malignant transformation. But from the beginning there can be liposarcoma. Next one, how are you going to manage? Reassurance, it will not cause any harm. But if it is cosmetically unacceptable and if there is any pain, I would suggest removing the lump under, this size is 3 cm, you can remove under local anesthesia. If it is a bigger one, sometimes you may have to do large amount of local anesthesia, it will be not possible to remove under the local anesthesia. In that case, you may have to do general anesthesia, but usually local anesthesia is enough. Next one, what is Durkham disease? What is Durkham disease? It will characterize it by presence of multiple painful lipoma. Multiple painful lipoma called Durkham disease or adiposa dolorosa. Thank you very much.